Hi, everybody. It is a little bit late today. It's almost four o'clock for me, but it, things have been a crazy day. It is Saturday, April 13th. Um, a couple of things that, that are good. I just spoke with Jay Lyle Lovett's tour manager, and he just got an update on Bruce Knight, uh, our front of house mixer. And apparently Bruce is responding after this catastrophic stroke and, um, an aneurysm. I guess he's gone in, going into rehab, and the doctors feel that with proper care and medication and time, um, he might make a full recovery out of this, which would be just fantastic uh, for him to have his life, because uh, it was really just shocking. So we just found that out, and so, man, all of our best wishes should be heading towards Bruce Knight. Get him well. Um, and then uh, yesterday was a really cool day. I did a Zoom with Gail Ann Dorsey. Now, Gail Ann Dorsey is one of my favorite bass players. Um, I've loved her work with Tears for Fears, um, with David Bowie. Um, uh, she's been with... Um, oh, um, I'm blanking all of a sudden. It's been a, a long day. Uh, Lenny Kravitz uh, for, for a number of years. Uh, just a beautiful player um, out of the Philly uh, area originally. Um, but we talked for about an hour and a half yesterday to do a Zoom, uh, kind of kind of an interview. I'm not sure at the end of the day what the re the use of this is going to be, but it was just really nice to say, just to talk with her. She's really a delight and a beautiful musician. And if you're at all curious, look up uh, Gail Ann Dorsey, G A I L. D-O-R-S-E-Y, and uh, she's pretty amazing, wonderful. Um, it's starting to rain out now. It's drizzling heavily. It hasn't started really raining, but there supposedly is a pretty good storm coming through, but we'll see. I always believe it when it happens. Um, I took the dogs out for a walk this morning. I ran out to the breeder's house out in Upland uh, to pick up a load of kibble, um, she gets a real good rate on it, and I just wanted to stock up on a bunch of bags of the kibble that the boys and that really love, and it's really good for them and healthy. So I did that early this morning, and um, then took the boys for a walk, and then you know helping Maureen with everything she's got to deal with. I mean, this is just so hard on her. I mean, it's a it's a pain in the ass uh, dealing with it all, but she's the one who's suffering most through this. I, I can deal with me in it. I just got to keep my shit together, as they say. Um, the documentary, The Immediate Family, is now on Hulu. It's going to be there. That's where it's going to be living, I guess, for the most part. So if you have access to Hulu, the doc is there. Um, uh, so I was digging around and I came across another project that I did not remember because it's from a long time ago. It was an artist named Sam Neely, N-E-E-L-Y, and an album called uh, Loving You Just Crossed My Mind. Um, we did this in 1972. I'm going to read a little bio that I found about Sam. Uh, so Sam Neely uh, was an American country and folk music musician, singer, songwriter, recording artist, and performer. Born in Cuero, I guess it's pronounced, Texas, Neely began playing guitar at the age of 10. After moving with his family to Corpus Christi, Texas, he began playing in bands, including a local group called Buckle. Uh, he made an appearance on the Merv Griffin Show in 1968 and was asked to write a song for the film Tilt. Uh, though the movie was not released until 1978, it did include Neely's track Long Road to Texas. Neely scored a string of minor hits in the 1970s on the country and pop charts and released a few albums which saw sales success. In 1978, he moved back to Corpus Christi and became the house musician for the Electric Eel. In 1983, he made his comeback on MCA Records. And this is the sad part of it. On July 19, 2006, Neely collapsed and died while mowing his lawn at his home in Corpus Christi. He was 57. Uh, yeah, it's really, that's really heartbreaking when you see, you know, they passed that young. And that's, that's really young cat. So, um, so that, that was, that was that. So I dug up a few of the tracks here. Let me, uh, pull up some stuff with credits here. Um, there's a bunch of credits on this album. 
uh, Gary, uh, Jerry Cole on acoustic guitar, banjo, and steel banjo, uh, Mike Dacey on acoustic guitar, steel guitar, and electric guitar, uh, Rudy Durand uh, did basic arrangements, um, Clyde King and Melissa Mackey and Vanetta Fields were on background vocals. I shared bass on this uh, with the great Wilton Felder, uh, who was the sax player in the Crusaders, but he also did some uh, electric bass work in town too. He's really great. Gene Pello on drums. Uh, Gene Page did the string arrangements. God, I worked with Gene so much. He was one of the greatest of the Motown string arrangers and just the most delightful character ever. He was a great guy. There was a bunch of different engineering uh, on this one. Armin Steiner did the mixing on it. Andrew Berliner uh, is listed as engineer. Um, Jim Horn played flute. Uh, Alan Hunt on lead guitar. Larry, the great Larry Nectal on harmonica. Uh, Wally Trugat uh, did the mastering. Uh, Mike Gregory on piano. Uh, Rudy Durand, Phil Gillen, uh, Rudy, uh, let's see, they were listed as producers on this. And um, that's kind of it, but that's a real eclectic group. But um, So this is Sam Neely and from 1972 called Loving You Just Crossed My Mind. So let me, I found two tracks here that I could find on YouTube. So let's check them out. This first one is called Blue Time. Here we go. <laughs> Nineteen seventy-two. Yeah, it's amazing when I look back to that period. 
Let's do one more here. It was hard to find here. Okay. This is a song called Can't Help Wondering. Here we go. Sam Neely, 1972. <laughs> This old house, this old car, they don't seem the same no more. This old town, all that got me down, I can't help wondering where you are. This old man I know, he sure drinks a lot, but he's all the friend I've got. He tells me not to worry quite so much, can't help feeling like I do. So that's Sam Neely from 1972. Yeah, it was called Loving You Just Crossed My Mind. Um, so that's really, uh, that's it. So I'm going to get running now and take care of some stuff. Um, wish everybody a great day. And it's a little late start for me, but maybe tomorrow I'll play along with something, maybe another Lyle thing or something. We're starting to get our schedule for the year in order here. So I'm going to be working a bunch on just working on songs and getting ready for our, our uh immediate family gig uh, down in Georgia uh, in a couple of weeks. So it's all, all coming together here. So all my best wishes, everybody, and talk to you soon. And thank God for Bruce. This is really pretty mind-boggling. So really happy for him. So talk to you later.